I'm going to get a lot of hate for this one, I am sure. But I'm telling you right now, right here and now, with 100% certainty, all of you that are watching, all of you Snyder Bros, Snyder Cultists who decided to actually click on this video and watch, believe it or not, you are the reason. You. That's right. You are the reason that James Gunn is heading DC Studios. You are the reason that the Snyderverse is not being made. You are the reason why we won't see any continuation of the Snyderverse. Just this past week, there's been so much going on in regards to DC. Uh, DCU, casting of Supergirl, Millie Alcock being cast as Kara Zor-El. Fantastic casting. And I talked about that, about that in another video. But I want to talk about James Gunn. Our movie news over on X asked this question just a little while ago. Are some fans too harsh on James Gunn and the DCU? And it's interesting because our movie news stated it like that, saying some fans. And we all know what some fans mean. Some fans mean means the Snyder Bros, the Snyder Cultists. Again, for those of you who have been watching this channel, watching me, know me, you know that I see a very big difference between Snyder Bros, Snyder Cultists, and Snyder fans. I myself am a Snyder fan. I enjoy what Zack Snyder was doing with the DC films. I liked it. I wish we could have seen the, the continuation and the completion of it. I understand why we didn't see the completion of it because it didn't hit on all cylinders with the general audience with the mass audience i understand that i still fought side by side with the snyderverse fans i fought with them for afsp for release the snyder cut and even the beginning years the first couple years of the um restore the snyderverse movement i was right there side by side but something happened over the years the Snyderverse fandom split in the two. You had the fans who appreciated what Zack created, but were also hopeful and looking forward to what DC films could be in the future without Zack Snyder. But then you had your cultists, your Snyder bros, who really turned toxic, vile, disgusting, in so many different different ways. As you see in my reply to our movie news, I go, by some fans, you mean the Snyder Bros, because it's only them who are criticizing every single move that he, speaking about James Gunn, makes for no reason at all. They twist his words, they play the, well, fans 10 years ago were assholes, so we gotta be assholes now, card constantly, instead of just being stand-up human beings. They bully him, Saffron, and the actors, which I said this in my Supergirl video the other day. They bullied immediately, immediately after Millie was cast as Supergirl. They started bullying her, completely negating, negating all they fought for when it comes to AFSP. That is hypocritical. When I say that the Snyder verse or the Snyder boys, bros, Snyder cultists, whatever you want to call them, when I say they're hypocritical, I mean it. They are truly, truly hypocritical because that's all they do anymore. They are just, they, they've taken everything that they fought against and they've taken it and now they are doing the same thing. They won't let go of a film franchise that ended and they blame the wrong people for said franchise being canceled. They, they blame everybody but those who canceled it back in 2017. And it's maddening to me. It's maddening to everybody who has to continuously hear it. They then attack the fans who have hope that the DCU will be fun and exciting, thus making the fandom toxic and unfun. And there's a lot more than that. So yes, those people who are far too harsh on Gunn and everyone else involved with the DCU, to be honest, they are the epitome of everything they fought against at one time, if not worse than what they stood against. 
They are disgusting and vile people and deserve nothing from Warner Brothers DC ever again. But what do I mean when I said in the beginning that you, you Snyder Bros, you Snyder cultists are the reason that James Gunn is in charge of DC? What do I mean by that? Well, what did you think was going to happen? There was no stu- there was no producers, no former studio heads, nobody while they were while David Zaslav was trying to find someone to head the studio. There was not a single person who was going to want to take over running a brand new studio with all of you running around social media criticizing every single move that they would have made. It's not a fun job. We've seen filmmakers, producers, studio heads in other other franchises and other studios over the years, over the decades, who've said, look, you know, making movies is fun, but why do it? Why continue doing it when you get criticized for every move that you make? Most famously, George Lucas. He sold Star Wars because of the fans because of how the fans treated him for the prequels. Instead of him making the sequels, he sold it to Star Wars or he sold it to Disney and now we see what Star Wars has turned into. It's because of the way you all handled everything. Instead of being upstanding citizens, instead of being honorable, instead of being better than those you were fighting against, well, This is where we're at. And and don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to what James Gunn is doing. I think he's going to do a damn good job. So I'm okay with James Gunn being involved. But imagine. Imagine, if you will. Just go back four years ago. When they announced coming to HBO Max, Zack Snyder's Justice League. And we were all excited. We were all freaking out this is amazing instead of becoming toxic and angry at Warner Brothers and AT&T at the time perhaps we should have had a hashtag thank you Warner Brothers perhaps we should have thanked them perhaps we should have been happy and excited and shown our appreciation for what they were doing Instead, we criticized everything Jason Killar did. We, we criticized everything Toby Emmerich did. We criticized everything that, that Walter Hamada did, that um, anybody who was part of that regime did. When they didn't cancel the Snyderverse, they gave us the movie we asked for. Yet here we sit, four years since we got that, And we're still, well, I won't say we, because it's not me anymore, it's you. You're still sitting there complaining about the Snyderfirst being dead. And really, it's seven years. We're almost seven years removed from the canceling, officially canceling and stopping what Snyder was doing. It's crazy to me to think that you thought acting the way that you have been acting was going to get you what you wanted. When you look at it, you are the reason that there is a James Gunn running DC Studios. You didn't give Henry Cavill and The Rock a chance to take over DC. No. You boycotted Black Adam You bitched and complained about Henry Cavill not being the Henry Cavill Superman we wanted. And you got nothing. You lost your Henry Cavill Superman. You fought and pushed against every single thing Walter Hamada did. You complained and whined and cried and criticized and were toxic for three, four years. What did you think was going to happen? You deserve everything that you've gotten to this point. And it's not going to get any better if you continue to act this way. It's wild to me that that it's gotten to this point. It's wild to me that none of you are smart. Well, maybe, uh, no, maybe it shouldn't surprise me that none of you are this smart. Honestly, 
I mean, do you see the infighting that's going on? All of you are fighting for clout. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Throw down in the comments why you hate me, why I'm so wrong. Please do throw in the comments why you think I'm so wrong about this because I'm telling you right now, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm 100% not wrong on this. You guys are the reason that what has happened to this point has happened. Look, everything before, 20, before 2020, absolutely, on those regimes at Warner Brothers... Kevin Tushahara, Jeff Johns, John Berg, all of them, absolutely on them. But since 2020, since that moment they announced Zack Snyder's Justice League, all you have to do, all you have to blame is you for all the ill will, all the negativity, all the L's that you've taken. It's because of you. And here we sit. On the verge of Toby Emmerich possibly taking over Netflix as the head of film. When Zack Snyder and him don't really get along very well. And all you want is Netflix to buy the Snyder. You think that's going to happen? You think that's going to happen at this point? As you see, L after L that you keep taking for how toxic you've been. All that negativity in the world that you've spread. It's coming back to haunt you. It sucks, but it's how life works. What goes around comes around, and it's really coming around to you guys right now. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If uh, you agree with me, make sure you hit that like button. Share this around to your friends, and uh, subscribe. Do that whole thing. With all that said, I'll catch you all later.